Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome to my Knot channel. So I've got a new piece of equipment that I want to show you. It's a game changer for me when it comes to tying paracord bracelets. It's really hot out here in the cornfield. So let's head on into the work table where we can take a look. So I ordered the Speedy Jig Plus paracord bracelet kit. Out of the box, the kit came with a few hanks of paracord, some three inch buckles and a stainless steel lacing needle. The jig acquired a bit of assembly when it arrived, but it was super easy and straightforward. The first part of the assembly was to attach rubber bumper feet to the bottom. They were easily attached and I was surprised at how strong the adhesive was. I attached them to the bottom corners of the main steel plate as shown here, trying to space them far enough apart to give the most stability. These rubber feet will be a big help to keep the jig from sliding around when I'm weaving a bracelet. Next, I unpacked the monkey fist jig parts. There were two different types of threaded nuts, four of each. One had a hex nut shape and the other was more rounded. I threaded the hex nuts onto the rods first because they go on the top side of the jig. With all the hex nuts attached to the four rods, I started to attach the rods to the jig. You can see the slots in the steel. This is so the size of the monkey fist can be adjustable. For now, I just want to set it up and have a look at the jig and make sure everything's here and works. So this is basically what the jig looks like as a monkey fist knot jig, but there's still more to do. The next step is to add the second buckle attachment. This attachment uses a wing nut to easily adjust to any size bracelet without any tools. With the jig assembled, I think it looked great, but the next step was to give it a try and make a bracelet. So I removed the monkey fist rods to make room for my weaving. You can see the buckles easily loop over the ends of the jig. I think my first bracelet will be a cobra weave, since it's the original style. Getting the bracelet set up was quick, and I feel like I've said the word easy a lot during this video, so I guess the name Speedy Jig makes sense. Like most bracelets, I started with tying a girth hitch at both ends. I know most people call this a cow hitch, I call it a girth hitch, and I have a video that shows the difference between a cow hitch and a girth hitch. Link in the description. Now, with everything set up, I can begin the weave. I have already done a detailed video on how to tie the cobra weave, so if you'd like to see how it's done, click on the end screen or find the link in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.